Hi, I'm Wes with Noria. We're on a mission to make the world better through lubrication excellence. A very common application that has the wrong lubricant in it is high speed applications, especially when these applications involve greased components. And greased applications that are high speed are things like fans, blowers, you know, pillow block bearings, things of these nature, unlike ones that are in conveyors or slower speed moving things. And unlike oil lubrication, grease lubrication, the grease is, has a more insulative property, meaning it does not dissipate heat near as well. So these bearings, these components that are higher speed with this grease tend to run hotter. So of course that destroys the lubricant quicker, the, fat, the hotter it runs. And as well as the bearing or the component themselves, they tend to break down quicker because of this heat. So definitely want to control heat. And by selecting the proper high speed grease, we can help control some of this excess heat. So there's a couple different things that you're looking for in a good high speed bearing grease. One is the base oil viscosity. The viscosity of the base oil is what is going to provide you your lubricating film inside this component. So you want to make sure that you select the right viscosity with the speed and the load and the environment that you're going to be operating in. Another thing you want to look at is the thickener of the grease. Now not all grease thickeners are compatible with each other so you do need to know what's in the component already and make sure what you select is compatible with that. Now thickener properties are going to give you things like dropping point and the channeling characteristics and the bleed characteristics of this grease which are all important in these applications. And then finally, last but not least, you definitely want to look at the consistency of the grease. The consistency is the hardness or the firmness of the grease itself. Um, it's commonly referred to as the NLGI grade or NLGI number. And this is a scale from triple zero or commonly referred to as triple ot all the way up to six. Triple ot being the most fluid, six being the hardest. When it comes to high speed application, there are several ranges of these and you have to select it based upon the application and the environment in which this operates in. So for more information on selecting the proper grease for high speed applications or any grease application, visit our magazine at machinerylubrication.com.